Good morning and welcome back to Lead With Love. <clears throat> Yesterday I was trying to talk, no, I was talking about like things that happened in life or, you know, I was talking about my job. Like I worked for the Bronx, the Bronx County Supreme Courthouse. That's, what do you call it? That's the, I even forgot, the United, the damn what is it called it's the courts it's oh the unified court system that's where i work for the unified court system that is a government job that's a government job i work for the state and you know that was that i resigned from there in 2020 and i think in the other video i said i was terminated i was terminated in another job because from 2020 i resigned and i got unemployment from that job on September 5th of 2020, I think it was, <laughs> Sep September 5th, I think of 2021, unemployment ended for everybody, everybody. So I was like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? So I was like, oh, I got to get a job, like, because no money was going to be coming in because my unemployment ended. So I started working a new job on October 4th. I think I signed a privacy, a disclosure that I cannot talk about this job. I can't say anything about this job. It was a private, it is a private company. It is an ambulance company. It was an EMS, an EMS company. But I don't know what I signed. Like, I don't want nobody trying to sue me. I got enough problems, like, you know. But I started that job October 4th. And I was terminated from that job on November 29th, right? It was right after Thanksgiving. It was before the Christmas holidays. And I was just like, oh my God. And I didn't get unemployment for the job because I was there for less than three months. So I was there for like a little over a month. <clears throat> but, you know, I was dealing with a spiritualist. And the spiritualist, it was like I was just having all these problems, all this chaos around me. I would go to work. And then it was like, I was just having all these problems at work. And I'm like, I'm not a problematic person. I'm pretty much to myself. I do my job. I do what I'm supposed to do. I don't look for problems. I was taking $80 Uber to work an $80 Uber back home. And the company paid for it. I was the only one doing this job. I was doing the COVID-19 vaccines. I was doing that. I was scheduling appointments for people in the Bronx community and in Queens community to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. I was the only one trained for the job. I was the only one that knew how to do the job, so they needed me. But you know, black magic and the chaos and all this stuff, so I lost my job. I was terminated from the job and it's like everything just started going so bad. And it was just bad like i didn't get unemployment from that job so i wasn't working for a year i took a whole year off because it was like wherever i went i just had problems like everywhere i was like what the fuck? but you know i knew it's magic i knew it was magic i knew it was the spiritualist like doing stuff against me either they were jealous i don't know what the fuck, you know but i was like you know what let me just protect myself protect my energy and I got rid of <clears throat> of everyone. I don't have no friends. I don't I don't have any friends. I don't talk to anyone like spiritually. And then I was into Eva at some point of my life. I was into Eva, but you know, that was maybe like the second spiritualist. And then they were married and their wife is doing death spells. Then this person is doing death spells because I don't want to deal with them. So then I met another spiritualist. And then it's the same thing happened all over again. Like my money's blocked, I didn't get unemployment. It was like, I was just having all these problems left and right. I was just like, oh my God, I'm done with Aoife. I'm like, fuck Aoife. I'm not, I don't want to do Aoife. I don't believe in that. I don't want to deal with anybody that does or practices Aoife in that religion because they all do black magic all of them they do black magic they are devil worshipers and they hide it in that religion so that's why it was a point in time i changed my name and everything to ifa bukola 
Aoife <laughs> Bukola. That was my name at Aoife. And I was really into it. Like, this is what I believed in and this is what I wanted to be a part of. But it got to the point of my life where I don't believe in this religion. I don't believe in none of the spiritualists because they all lie and they're all full of shit. You know, I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but you know, everyone that I have met that is in the religion is a devil worshiper. I have not met a real spiritualist. Like they're all fake. They're all liars. They're all scammers. They're all out there to hurt people and all they want is money. So it's, it's like, I'm just so done with it. And then it's like, I had to grow, I had to heal, I had to evolve and I had to become better and stronger on my own without this religion. I just have my faith in God. I believe in God. I believe in the universe. I believe in the sun. I believe in the moon. I believe in the stars. I, you know, I pray to God, you know, for you know, anything. Like, I just pray to God. I'm thankful to God. I found out about ancestor money. I'm like, oh my God, like, this is such a great thing. And I burned ancestor money because I want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you to my ancestors because my ancestors are there for me. They are there for me throughout all this spiritual warfare, all these death spells, all this black magic my ancestors are there and they're defending me they are protecting me they are watching over me and i love them and burning ancestor money is a way i can say thank you so that's why i burn it all the time i burn ancestor money all the time because i just want to say thank you i want to encourage other people you know to burn ancestor money too you don't have to be going through black magic or you don't have to be going through any kind of problems but you know it's a way for you to clear up blockages that you may have in your life. You know, things are not going right. I'm gonna say burn ancestor money. And it can open up the flow of things into your life. So now I, I just started working and just got a new job and I'm happy. Like things are changing, things are getting better. And the only thing I've been doing is burning ancestor money. So I am thankful to the ancestors. I'm thankful to know about the money. It comes from China, it's made in China, manufactured in China, distributed from China. <laughs> and it's for everyone all over the world. It is encouraged for everyone to burn ancestor money because it can help you. I have, went, I have been through a lot of things, a lot of spiritual things. And burning ancestor money, it just, I can say it had helped, it helped, it helped me because I have been going through hell, <laughs> hell for years. I think since 2019, I've just been going through a, a hard time. But you know, I kept my faith. I believe in God. I pray to God. I thank the ancestors. I stay positive, you know, because black magic is devil worship, is work of the devil. And you have to stay positive, you have to vibe high, and you have to keep pushing forward. And, you know, just never, never be defeated. Because things will happen in life and people will always come for you, but you never let them defeat you. Like, don't be defeated by anything. You always keep pushing forward because some things are not meant to be this way. Like, life is not meant to be this way. Like, in life, God did not make you to live here and have a bad life. You are not meant to have a bad life. You are meant to have a good life. And it's the people that you meet in life that get jealous. They get jealous of you because they see you have all these blessings that are supposed to be your, your blessings. They get jealous of you and they want to stop your blessing. They want to slow it down. So black magic works. All it did was slow things down. It has been delayed since 2019. This year is supposed to be my year. This is supposed to be my year. I don't wanna be mad, but I'm like, you know, I'm still not where I wanna be, but I'm just thankful that I'm not where I was, <laughs> you know? 
and 2022 is supposed to be my year this is the year of the lovers you are supposed to be in love you're supposed to be happy you're supposed to have everything you always wanted and i'm still waiting for it but i'm gonna stay positive i'm gonna vibe high i'm gonna burn my ancestor money and i just wanted to say thank you and I wanted to say, um, talk about that, about the job, because I was, I resigned in 2020. And then in 2021, I did do another job, but I think I signed a privacy notice or a disclosure notice where I cannot talk about this job. I cannot post anything about the job. I can't say anything about this job. All I can say is I was an EMS worker. I did the vaccine. I scheduled appointments for people in the Bronx community and in Queens community to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. I did a morning shift. It was like from eight to four. I can't say anything else about the job, but I was terminated from that job. They needed me though. But, you know, black magic, the chaos, it was crazy. But keep pushing forward, keep going. Everything is going to be all right. Like, all the bad is going to pass. It's going to go away, and things are going to get better. So stay positive, vibe high, always lead with love. Like, no matter what happens, always lead with love. Stay positive, vibe high, and I'll be right back to burn the ancestor money. Thanks. Bye.